Hello and welcome to Video Revealed. Let's have a look at how you can show multiple subtitles in one video. All right, so just to get things straight, Showing multiple uh, subtitles is not what subtitles were ever created for. The reason that you can't easily turn on multiple tracks of subtitles is you're not supposed to. Subtitles are meant to show one at a time. But let's see how we can change this. And you do that through nesting. It's really simple. Now, I want to show you it in a podcast uh, form first with two people speaking. And then I'll show you one person with multiple languages. If you want this template that I'm about to show you, you can download it for free. And there's a whole tutorial on how to use it. It has Photoshop files that automatically update. Uh, like I said, I I'll show you the, the tutorial. So let's have a look at what I have done already for the podcast. My name is David Blackman, a.k.a. The Digital Buddha. Coming to you live for Video Revealed. So David's speaking on the right-hand side, and when he's finished, we got Dana, who's talking on the left. That the way the crustaceans live under the sea could only be explained... So each one of these is a subtitle, an English subtitle, one is left, one is right. They're both showing at the same time. I did that through nesting, and you'll see that both of their videos are green. So if I double click on it, you'll see that the subtitle is in its own sequence. I'll open David's. It's in his own sequence. So it's just showing through into another sequence. A nest is an embedded sequence in another sequence. That's all it is. Let's set it up. I want to point out that you can actually have multiple speakers on one subtitle track. Each one is set to its own zone, bottom right, bottom left. But this tutorial is about having multiple subtitles showing at the same time. So let me close all of that up. And we'll get to my starting layout. So this is the layout that I give you. It's just a static layout with these placeholders in it. And you can see two videos, replace one and replace two. Again, you don't have to use this. It just makes sense in this example. So I'm going to hold the Option key on uh, the Mac, Alt on Windows, and drag to one of the replacements. And it puts it inside that frame. Same with David. Okay. So now they're both in there. Um, I could generate the uh, subtitles in this master section. I just think it's a whole lot cleaner to nest them now and then do a transcription. So I'll select one at a time, right click and nest. And I'll call this Dana L for the left. Right click on David's. David R for the right. Double click, open up Dana. Go to my text, create transcription. And that's the setting I want. He doesn't start speaking in here, but if he was speaking on and off, it would work the exact same way. Click over here, create captions. Create captions, which is the default uh, SRT. There it is. Now I'll select all of these, and in the essential graphics, I'm going to click in the bottom left. So this is the position where the caption is. And now if we go back over to here, it shows up. Pretty simple. Let's go to David's, double click on that. Same thing, select it, 
go to text, transcribe, transcribe. I've got a whole bunch of tutorials, uh, which is more in depth about captions, including a bunch of updates and validation. I'll link those in the description too. There it is. Create captions, create captions. Now, we're going to run into a bit of an issue here. And that is that we have to align this differently. So I'll select them, go to my essential graphics. And if I click on the right, it aligns on the right. So if we go back, there they are. There's David speaking over here, and there's Dana over there. Pretty easy, right? They're both just nested in there. Now let's look at this example here. This has three different subtitles, English, Spanish, and French you'll see only one eyeball is allowed at a time. Again, that's the way subtitles work. But we can nest these two. Now, if you select those subtitles, the, the, the first ones in the bottom, you can't right click. There's no, you can't nest these without something over here. So Adobe has a little workaround where if you create something new, click on the little page, and your new transparent video, it's going to make it the size of the video. Drag that out. Select this and the English captions. Now we can right click and nest this. it removes them from here and turns them on here. So we want to turn them off here and they're on. So let's do the same with the, uh, the Spanish. And we can use that same transparent video. By the way, if you want to select these an easier way, if you, you choose the A key, which is a select forward track and hold the shift key. It'll select everything on that track and then grab your selection tool and shift select here. So let's nest that one. Spanish. One more time. Drag that out. Uh, now we can select all of that French, right click, nest, French. Make sure the other ones are off. Now they're, they're, they're all on top of each other, so we've got to move them. So I'll just select it, go to the effects controls, and I can move the French up, grab the Spanish, and move that up. So there you go. Program I enjoy geographical programs. I got into photography at a very early age. And but remember, these are no longer subtitles. They're no longer captions. They're no longer official. They're basically just graphics on the screen. So quite honestly, if you wanted graphics, then just change these from subtitles to graphics and then leave them because you can't have that, that working that way. Hey, if you're new to Video Revealed and you found this informative, take a moment and subscribe. You want to support us some more? You can do that on videorevealed.com slash shop. Donate once or monthly any amount. We love all of our wonderful supporters. Till next time, I'm Colin Smith, and it's my job to poke around and, and find some workarounds with the help of Adobe to get you what you want, whether it's official or not.